three banana breads in one recipe, nut, chocolate and crushed caramel biscuits. The perfect everyday treat and they take about 10 minutes to make. My name's Taryn and I'm a professional baker from South Africa. I've baked some crazy, weird and wonderful cakes in my time and now I hope to pass those skills on to you as I bake, make and create with the Super Mums Club. All right, so I have probably gone completely bananas today, but this banana bread recipe is really worth going bananas about. It's super moist and easy to make. It freezes really well and makes three loaves, so you will always have banana bread on hand. The recipe link is in the description, but this is what you'll need. 150 grams of butter, one and a half cups of brown sugar, five ripe bananas, three eggs, a third of a cup of double thick plain yogurt, two cups of flour, a half a teaspoon of salt, one and a half teaspoons each of baking soda and baking powder, and then an optional extra of nuts of your choice. Three loaves from one recipe, an absolute bonus. So these are roughly 21 centimeter by 11 centimeter loaf pans. I have greased them with some butter and then prepped them with some baking paper. And as you can see, I've left these sides just a little bit longer because once your banana bread is baked, you can give those a tug and it will plop straight out. And then you can pop your oven onto 160 degrees Celsius or 320 Fahrenheit. I am going to start with the bananas because then they are done and out the way. So these bananas are really nice and ripe and actually the riper the better. It's a great way to get rid of old bananas. So I'm going to pop those into a dish and then just squish them by hand until there aren't any bigger bits left and then you can set them aside. And now it is super easy because everything goes into the mixer bit by bit. So you can start with your butter and you can use a good quality margarine like stalk too and then beat it until it's nice and soft. Then add your sugar. I'm going to use some brown sugar. I love the taste of it in banana bread, but you can use white sugar too if you like. And then cream it until the sugar is nicely incorporated. Then add your eggs and slowly beat them into the creamed butter and sugar until they've combined. You can scrape down the sides if the butter has accumulated there and then give it a quick beat again. I always have double thick plain yogurt on hand. I use it a lot actually when I'm cooking. If it isn't a staple in your fridge, that's really not a problem. You can substitute this with water and then bump up your butter quantity by 30 grams. So pop that into your mixer along with your mashed bananas and give it a beat to combine. Then we can start adding our dry ingredients, sifting in the flour and the salt, continue to beat it until it's combined, and then lastly, add in your baking soda and baking powder, giving a quick last beat. Then transfer your batter into your loaf tins, weighing out roughly 570 grams in each. Now, this is what I absolutely love about baking. It is an exact science, but once your batter is mixed, you can add just about anything into it. And bananas pair so well with so many different things, from caramel to chocolate, nuts, even Melrose cheese, apparently. That's my husband's fancy, each to their own. So I'm going to make three different banana loaves. The first one, I have crushed up some nut brittle. You can use plain nuts as well, and you can either sprinkle it on top or suspend it into your mixture by stirring it in. Then I've melted 10 blocks of chocolate for my second loaf and added a tablespoon each of cocoa, butter and sugar. And now I'm going to swirl it into the top of this banana loaf. And for the last loaf, I'm using some caramel flavored biscuits. These are nutty crusts. They are a caramel oatmeal biscuit. I've crushed them up and I'm sprinkling them on top. Then pop them in the oven on the middle shelf and bake for around 45 to 50 minutes. This has to be the most comforting smell, freshly baked banana bread wafting through the kitchen. This is a really awesome little recipe and it is going to now get sliced up, served with butter and maybe a hot cup of tea and a really good book. Absolute perfection. If you are wanting to freeze your banana bread, you can double wrap it first in some cling film and then tin foil. It will store for up to three months. These make the perfect little snack for kids' lunch boxes too. Thank you so much for watching this week's episode. I hope you'll love this recipe. Until next week Sunday when I see you for a killer dessert you don't want to miss. Take care and God bless.